What's up guys, the snowman here and I've got another soccer informational video on tap today. We're going to be exploring all things regarding the Lamar Hunt US Open Cup or the US Open Cup for short. Uh, hopefully you find this video informational. If you do, please drop a like, subscribe to the snowman sports media for more football content. But for right now, let's go over the schedule, the format, the teams involved, and uh, so much more for the soccer competition that is the U.S. Open Cup. Now let's start with the basic definition. The U.S. Open Cup is an annual knockout cup competition in men's American soccer. It's the oldest ongoing national soccer competition in the United States, first held all the way back in 1913. Think of the U.S. Open Cup as the FA Cup or Copa del Rey equivalent in the States, a combination of teams from different leagues within a single country or soccer federation matching up in a single elimination tournament that runs congruent alongside the MLS season and other leagues throughout the year. Uh, it's a competition that's grown greatly in its history as of 2022. Over 100 teams compete in the tournament. All American clubs from the U.S. Soccer League system that you see here, leagues like Major League Soccer, they're the cream of the crop in America, the USL Championship underneath them, USL League One, the National Independent Soccer Association, also the newly added MLS Next Pro League, and then several amateur leagues below these five professional ones too. In fact, speaking of those leagues, let's talk about qualification for the US Open Cup. Now, essentially, the way the knockout tournament is structured is that the better teams, the clubs from better leagues, receive a competitive advantage by entering the US Open Cup at later stages. Uh, you could compare this to how in the NFL playoffs, the best teams have first round buys to reward their performance during the regular season. So this is an example of the 2022 field. All the MLS teams are over on the right of this table. They get to enter the U.S. Open Cup in either the third round or the round of 32. Some of that is determined by the MLS table and which clubs are competing in the CONCACAF Champions League. But all MLS teams will at least get a couple rounds of buys. Then you see those other pro leagues, the USL Championship squads entering in the second round. Also the USL 1, NISA, and MLS Next Pro Leagues. And then finally on the far left, the USL 2 and all the other amateur leagues. Those teams are scrapping through play right from the start of the first round. They're awarded no buys, no luxuries. Uh, they're forced to start from the bottom and uh, hope for a Drake-like ascent. As far as the schedule, typically the early rounds are played sometime in spring, uh, March and April. And the US Open Cup lasts until around August or September with most matches being played uh, during the week on days like Tuesday and Wednesday to avoid conflict with league games that are typically played on the weekends. So big picture format wise we have about 100 teams and there's eight total rounds first second third fourth round of 16 quarterfinals semifinals and a final. Basically each round teams are paired up with another club either randomly or geographically especially in the case of the first couple of rounds. I know a lot of those pairings are based off of geography for the uh, amateur and lower rank clubs. Otherwise, each round we have all pairs play one single 90 minute knockout game. If the match is tied after regulation, then we play 30 minutes of extra time. And if the clubs are still level after that, a penalty shootout is implemented. So these are just one leg ties every round, just a single match. But we rinse and repeat this process for eight rounds. New teams added and new draws for the round of 32. Same goes for the round of 16 in the quarterfinals. Uh, this is an example of the final 16 teams from a few years back. Again, a combination of geographical and random pairings, and then two more pairings for the semifinals as well. The winners of the semis to meet in the final. One last game to determine a champion of the U.S. Open Cup. That final not played on a neutral field like most cup finals around the globe. Uh, for all rounds of this event, the home team is selected randomly in a draw prior to each round commencing. A couple of other notes. The overall champion of the U.S. Open Cup is awarded $300,000. The runner-up gets one hundred k but more than that, the winner is also given an automatic berth into the CONCACAF Champions League. That's the prestigious continental competition in North America. Uh, if you want more info on that tournament, please check out my CONCACAF Champions League explained video but uh, yeah as you might imagine MLS teams have dominated the US Open Cup especially in modern times MLS teams have won every edition of this competition since the turn of the millennium in fact the last lower ranked team to win the US Open Cup was the mighty Rochester Rhinos all the way back in 1999 and I hope you enjoyed this video or found it informational uh, thank you so much for watching uh, please subscribe to the snowman sports media for more soccer and football informational and preview videos uh, please give me a thumbs up follow Follow me on Twitter, Instagram, at Snowman Sports Media. And I'll be back very soon with uh, more content. Thanks a lot. Cheers.